USB sounds on, but I don't have the cam on, so you guys can just hold on for a moment. A moment, moment. But uh, let's see, we did uh, rabies today. I can just start talking. I'm going to guess you guys are going to ask me about my day. Uh, rabies shots today, so Mac, Rue, Rabbit, and uh, Bear are all vaccinated, which is fun. So we're good did for Edwin them. Did catch up with you? What? Edwin? Eeyore? Eeyore. I waited for them and they never showed. It's not, is it Eeyore? It's or Eeyore. Eeyore. It's Eeyore. They never showed up. It was so, supposed to be Wednesday or Friday, was it? You told them Wednesday. Did I tell them? Yeah. That? So uh, oh. I had someone reach out. I left a note for the them at the front with the front people yeah. that said if he showed up, that's what it was for. But part of the group uh so yeah we did that today uh mac weighs 135 pounds rue is 123 rabbit was 118 i think and i wasn't out there when Liv put bear on the scale so don't ask me i don't know probably 128 oh, that's my guess for that, uh, Nova is recovering from her spay, which is nice. Get those ones done before they uh, come into heat, because then once once you get a dog going to heat, then everything becomes more expensive. So you like to get them when they have small uteruses. Uh, Bentley got his teeth done yesterday. They only had to cut a little bit of his gums. He had some gums that were growing over his teeth in the this side, I guess. I think it was like near the front um so they cut those off and then just cleaned his teeth they said he's, his teeth looked good he had uh some stains in there but we got it before and after i don't know where the picture is i thought we were gonna frame it i don't know where it is <laughs> it's around somewhere yeah um so they took a photo and yeah so he was good i was there with him when he got up and he he pooped when he woke up, and then he pooped in the car on the way home. So, yeah, he had a dramatic day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, it's okay. He's fine. Everyone was commenting on how beautiful his ears are. And it was funny, when he came out of surgery, this one was up, but this one was to the side. And I was like, oh, my gosh, what if they broke an ear? Like, what if, you know, if something happened? And Because he came out really strong. I had to, like, wrap my legs around him and hold you on to him. what I saw on television, in, in, not Dr. Paul, but one of these other ones, is they have a great big barker bed for dogs to wake up so they don't get that banging that they get here yeah that's not a bad thing i pretty much hold them my what i do is i wrap my legs like this and i hold them this way and so they <laughs> we just kind of flop I around <laughs> yeah so i just like kind of straddle them and hold my yeah. legs honey's tail is great she finished her antibiotics we literally have like this much that needs to shut on the side it looks wonderful so once that looks better, probably we'll we'll cut the there's like one stitch left that we can cut We're out. We're never gonna cut it. We're just gonna leave it for good luck. <laughs> so yeah, she's uh she's great. It's good. All good in the hood with that one. Uh let's see, what else? Um bum 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 da, bum bum bum. I don't really know what else to talk about. Uh my dogs are good. Everybody's happy. I had a full car yesterday. I didn't come up and say bye to anybody because I had uh, I had Walter, Sir Richard, May, and Magnus all in my car. <laughs> so, and Sir Richard is a, he's a little over a year old. Um, he's trying to figure out what he's supposed to do with his man parts. Uh, Walter lets him know that. Putting his nose anywhere near May is off limits. He made that known when we were in the feed room. So, and we just, it was all about keeping the, 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 what did I say? Not letting the excitement level go up. I had some interns down there and they were watching me and I was like, this is a good training. I was like, notice how we're keeping calm. I was like, we have two stud dogs and an intact female and we're just keeping it calm. So May would try and amp it up and I was like, don't even, and she was like, okay. So then she'd calm down and then everyone would just. So I have calm. a question. You since could have had since a Sir Richard has grown up with Walter, will they? Eventually, they'll have an issue. Yeah, an yeah. Issue Walter, eventually. when we were in the feed room, keeping calm and keeping the calm and the peace, <laughs> I had Richard on a leash, and May was in. May went to walk by, and Walter was observing, 
May went to walk by and Richard went right up and Walter into and he that. Walter came running over and I just gave him one of these and he looked at me like so, I just want so to get it. May is Walter's Walter is he's I think he's just he's like don't try anything he's probably. really patient with her because yeah. I've seen her on camera and she's all oh, in his God. face she's she loves him she's in his mouth like he'll yeah. just be there and she's just like in his mouth like licking I'm surprised she's not sick because we were driving home yesterday everyone got Advantix and I'm driving down the road and I hear licking 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 and I turn on, she's lapping it off Magnus's bed. And then this morning, she's sucking on Walter's bed. I was like, can you stop? And when I put a certain product, like in my hair, she'll try and eat my hair. So we're, it's like an oil-based product, like for yeah. shine. Dog's strange. So but you she put was, in your hair? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, uh, I was talking to Caroline, the vet, today. Dr. Ballant was the one that did the shots. And... She was running her hand down the dog, and we had just done it. And I was like, oh, God. And she's like, I was wondering why all your dogs are so greasy. She's like, oh, just. She's like, I just put it. She goes, now I'm defleed. <laughs> she goes, every time I just, like, you know, just try to. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's funny. But, no, yeah, May, she likes to get right up in Walter's mouth yeah. and clean his teeth and get all in there. And it's gross, but whatever. You know that woman in the rowboat? With the dogs, yeah. She had four studs in the same pants. Yeah, kept them together. I think I could. I think I could definitely do it. It would just have to be a matter of never pulling them apart. You know, they grow up together. Yeah. They understand the pecking order, and you just like I, I said, the, the I, second that yeah. excitement level goes up, I mean, you'll have a dog fight anywhere, really. But so I just kept it real calm. <laughs> it's May that likes to jazz everybody up. She's how old she's, is May? She's a year old, so. Yeah. So she ought to be coming in. She'll be coming in. She, we, she had her first cycle. It was right before I started taking her home because she was like a month or two out of it because Walter was still like buried inside of her. So um, with his mouth and his nose and stuff. So and I, I'll have to look back on my, on my calendar. Uh, who are the prospective suitors for May? Anybody could breed to May. She's the German line. Um, we don't have any... Not a black one. ...male here that's related to her. <laughs> no, it would be Richard. Richard would be nice. Richard would give you European registered puppies. Mm -hmm. That might be our way of getting out of a bind if we had too many puppies. What? Selling puppies? Yeah. They would be, I would think, extremely valuable to somebody. Yeah, there's someone that's buying one of Sir Richard's sisters, I guess. She had yeah, another letter. Yeah. yeah. Really? When any other yeah. dog, STP dogs, have a teeth cleaning. The only other dog that's had a, their teeth done was Chaos. Really? Yep. What is going on with Maybe? I can't make any sense of a few posts I'm seeing down below. Thanks in advance. I don't know who Maybe is. Maybe is a donkey. Oh, we had she, a dog named Maybe. She's very that's wild. Cool. Oh. Um, I don't like the way she's behaving, but. She's flicking her ears and her tail. Oh, all right. Okay, she's talking. Her nose is fine. She doesn't have anything coming out of her nose. She does cough a little bit, but that that could be a horse thing anyway. Yeah. Uh, teenies are scheduled starting the end of uh, May. Yeah. 29th into June. 21st, summer. All right, well, that's it. You guys are on for mail call. They have a few boxes. I don't know if there's any mail, no mail so mail. mail, no mail, mail, but boxes. Yep, they got boxes. I know what the bottom one is. There I'll bet go. a dollar on it. <laughs> there's mail. Okay. Huh? There's mail. I brought a package of mail. It's all garbage. It's all, oh. it's all junk. It was all junk? Every bit of it. Well, stuff I didn't want to open. Okay, this is heavy. Off we go. No idea. Bye, honey. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night, honey. You too. Thanks. Ooh, it's got to be some cabinet. Heavy. Huh? Heavy. Well, they, they heavy, heavy hangs yeah, over thy head. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, that didn't work. Let's try something else here. What? I hate when they put the shipping label over there. I can't hear you at all. I 
lock it up here. What do you I, can't, I hate when they put the shipping label over the seam mm. of the box. We can't open it. Mm. I can't feel that. All right, well, we'll try it over here. There we go. Okay, that's the uh, Okay. That one I can do. There we go. We have poo pickers. A box of them. Ugh. There we are. And some bags. Those are all bags down there. Oh, good. Okay. These are the nice, neat, tidy ones. Okay. They're all yours. No big excitement of the day. That looks like that healthy food stuff. And this is from Sam Keys. Sam Keys, we'll throw that out because we got it memorized. Uh. There we go, we got it. Whoa. Okay. Good food, good mood. Well, that's all right. Huh, okay. Cookie thins and kettle corn and things like that. Roasted sunflower kernels. Huh. Isn't that interesting? Okay. White cheddar popcorn. My God. They have interesting things. Here's that stroop waffle. Well, isn't that fun? Okay. Dried fruit. Well, I'll take that one. Have that one for dessert. Huh, okay. We got it all. Oh, I know what those are. I've had these before. We'll have to have those. Sorry, I get those. Those are those lime cookies. No, these are not, not, not dog things. No, not for you. There we go. We got the top cut off. We ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. This. That we can leave right there. I know okay. what that is. That's a white tarp. That's a tarp. For that donkey. For, for Cafe Donkey. <laughs> Cafe Donk. Cafe Donkey. Something. Cafe Donk. Cafe Donk. Okay. I think Dr. Paul would want a fabulous Dane if you have one needing a home. Well, we're not going to have any needing a home. It's just that if we bred the two European dogs, the AKC type people would be very excited about that. And I would not sell any dogs unless, what I didn't want to say in front of Megan, 
if, if I did happen to breed two dogs at once, it would be one way of, if they both have 13 puppies, we got a problem. <laughs> you know, if they both have three puppies, we have, we have a problem at all. But if we both have 13 puppies, I bet we could find some, some AKC type people that would be absolutely thrilled. What happened to Linda's wrist? Carpal tunnel? Is carpal, yeah, she had carpal tunnel surgery. Honey's tail is better. I saw that go flying by. Oh, good to see Bentley back to Zoza. How often do I clean Gromit's teeth? Gromit just got his teeth cleaned last month for the first time. So, um, and he's going to be five. So, and they That's said, right. they, they, well, and, and the reason he had it done was because he had some overgrowth of a gum and, and they wanted to just like take it off and have it looked at. Um, but his teeth were good. Um, and now he's got, a, he, he came home with the same little dental oh, yeah. bag. Um, but now he's like, they had these chews in them called Oravet and they have the same they have a strip of gel in it that they also use to coat teeth so that the tartar doesn't stick to them. And they're mint flavored, and he's addicted to them now. Oh, good. He, he just... They, they also had some greenies in there, which I don't approve of. No, he didn't. No, I didn't, I didn't like greenies. They swallow but, the greenies, and then you got to pay $500 to get it out of their tummy. Yeah, this, this is... No. Yeah, this not is... Not for our dogs. Maybe for little dogs or something, but not for our dogs. Yeah, these are vet recommended, and they have that gel you that gotta, coats their teeth. you got to be careful what the vet recommends. Yeah, but Because these, they sell them. Yeah. But I but but I'm not buying them from them. I'm buying them from Amazon because they're cheaper. <laughs> so, so yeah, Gromit, Gromit got his teeth done last month. That's the first time he's had his teeth done, and he's ten. Yeah. And they weren't that bad, actually. I try and brush his teeth every once in a while. He's not thrilled about it, but. A piece of gauze on your finger. No, I actually have a toothbrush and oh. toothpaste. He gets toothbrush and toothpaste. Do you have an agreement with another service dog group to give them a dog in the future? No, I don't. Because the last six service dogs that I gave to people who basically are golden retriever type people, they did not, they, they didn't do right by them. I didn't think. The first, the first one I gave out, I think, was the first, I don't know. They could that way. He was impossible. He was growling at people. He was horrible. And that, but that, that, I said, fine, I'll take him back. They did get him back to me, thank heaven. They had him on three different tranquilizers. And it was Hey Dog. Oh, Hey Dog. Hey Dog. They were scared of him. That's the problem. They are scared of these big dogs. And so, therefore, they, they horse him around and knock him around. And they don't do that. They're very delicate. You can knock around a Jack Russell before you can knock around these things. Yeah. You know, I mean, they just, you know, so unless they come here to get the hang of things, no way. I don't know. I'm tired of the whole deal. Is there a story behind Joshua's name? I don't know what it is. The way that they seem to cut them off when they come, I'm wondering if they don't have some market for that hair, horse hair, you know, no, his name. His huh? name. Is there is there a story oh, behind name. his name, Joshua? Oh, name. We had a we had a mule named Joshua. That just seemed like a good name for a mule. Okay. That's it. Any others? Okay. We have eggplant parm. I heard that. Uh, yes, that sounds like good. Yep. Uh, Laura brought stuffed peppers. Oh, more of that. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we've got a bunch yeah. of stuff to eat tonight, and Grace oh, is. Let's start in then. Grace is on the overnight. And I brought you Jello. Did you? And Laura I brought did. Jello. Three of them. Good. Or four of them. I have to get them. Okay. Okay. Everybody, have a good night. Whoop. Okay, swarm.